in today's video i'm going to be recreating a look that i saw from glamex melissa i think it's her tiktok that i saw it on i don't know but i saw this look it's raining outside it's october so i'm in the mood and i also have my lo-fi music in the background i have some candles on um i'm just you know vibing with this whole aesthetic okay i blow dried my hair and I put pin curls on, but this was like hours ago because I did not have time to do it with the baby cron. So I already started on my eyebrows. I have lotion and sunscreen. And now I'm gonna go in with e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Ooh. Oh yeah, feels good. Look how my skin gets red so easily. Look how sensitive, but honestly, my skin has been clearing up so much. <gasps> Look, it's getting so red. What the heck? Anyways, let's talk. Let's chit chat. So, wait, do you guys do this using the like the last of the primer? Do you put it on like your eyelids? I don't know why I like to do that. I really, like really put the primer right here though, and around my mouth. That's like really where I need to put it. It's been. A very long time since I last recorded. Ah, sorry. <laughs> the girl. The girl's been going through it, man. Going through it. Not, not too bad, though. But let me update you guys really quick. As I do. My base. Ooh, I already messed up. <laughs> I haven't done, like, eye makeup in a long time. My makeup game has not been strong. We have not been doing anything. Well, like when we do go out or like do do stuff, I just do like the clean your all look, you know? Cause I don't have time. I don't have time to be sitting around looking cute. But today we got the time, okay? We're gonna make the time. I went in with my e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. I'm just gonna blend it out like this. I feel like I forgot how to do my makeup. Ugh, it feels like that. Cause you know, like when you haven't done makeup in a while, it's like you forget, your hand forgets. You know? I've even stopped like putting concealer on like my eyelids. So even this is like weird for me. But also maybe it's a good thing because I feel like my skin, she pop in. But yeah, it's October. It's spooky season. It's cuddle season, boo season. Like this year went by so extremely fast. I cannot believe it. I'm going to end with my Maybelline Fit Me Plus, but I already have it upside down and going like this. And then getting my dry beauty blender and just grabbing it, putting it on my lids, just so it's easier to blend out my makeup and I don't get no creases. But yeah, it's already been a year since we moved to the East Coast. <laughs> sad face, sad face. It's been a year without King Taco in in and out. <gasps> no, just, no, actually it hasn't because we went back to California, but still. <laughs> oh my God, I'm nervous. I haven't done my makeup in a long time. I'm gonna use the James Charles Girl. <laughs> I'm nervous. And also, I don't really do like a smoky eye look like this. I usually do like bright and then like smoke it out, kind of. But this one, she's bold. She's bold and she's graphic and she's popping. And it's just like screaming October to me. And so, I don't know. I just, I loved it. Right when I saw the picture, I was like, oh my gosh, it looks so cute. Like I want to put that on my face. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm gonna start with the brown just so I can have a little base and uh, make my shape and then I'll go in with the black, black eyeshadow. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many things has happened since I last posted a video. What was my last video? Oh my god, I went viral! <laughs> that was like, what the heck? I don't really like feel like I did, I just feel like maybe I just kept rewatching. <laughs> same video but nah i cringe i cringe i can only watch like my video when i'm editing it but i can't watch it especially with other people around like i can't mm -mm. it went like i think right now i think my videos are on like three something k three point something k so 
Thank you if you're new to my channel. Thanks. I got the stomach flu for like three days and I lost like 10 pounds. Oh my God, it was terrible. It was terrible, but also like, I'm skinny. <laughs> you know, it helped me lose some of the baby weight that I had, <laughs> but it's coming back. Like, I feel like I see it in my cheeks, man. I gained weight in my cheeks and in like my stomach area the fastest. Like the first thing that, that gives it all away, you know? Oh my God. <sighs> But yeah, so I'm starting to gain all that weight again. I can't believe I almost started on my foundation. Like, I am not that girl. That would have been very brave of me. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen that show on Netflix, Glow Up? That show was my shot. I watched like all the seasons already. I'm already caught up. I'm like, when's the new season coming out? It, it was so good and I feel like I learned so much about makeup in that show. I'm like, who needs some prosthetics? I could do it. I could do it. While over here, I'm like, yeah. Meanwhile, like my eyebrows are all crooked, right? <laughs> it was crazy though. Like some people are so talented. I can never be on a show like that. I'm not like creative at all when it comes to like things like this. Um, I can like try to recreate someone's look. Like what we're doing right here. We're attempting. Let's see if it can even come out right. Or similar. Easy. We started watching El Rey. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I, personally, I don't like it. I feel like it is too cheesy. And like, I love the little kid actor in it. I think he's so cute. But like, is the whole season gonna be just like going back and forth, back and forth? You know, it's not like a transitional, like, oh, from 1950 to this time. Like, I was Chente as a little boy, you know, and like, that's how he came to be. But instead it's just like, Chente as like a little boy, Chente as an adult, Chente as a teenager, Chente, you know, as an adult, little boy, teenager. I don't understand, it's not really flowing well, but it is very good, but I find myself like, skipping it well like the jenny rivera hers was not like that kind of would have like flashbacks but it would be flashbacks from something that you already saw from like the first episode you know what i mean so it was like good to be reminded of it it wasn't like confusing but this one i don't know i don't know how i feel motherhood has been going very well except that my son is growing super fast i don't even like I just keep imagining him going to kindergarten already and like going to school. Like, what am I gonna do? <laughs> Being a mom is a very beautiful thing. He's so like, he's so precious to me. Like, I don't, I don't even. I feel like even like when I see him do the most simplest things, I'm like, Ugh. he'd be melting my heart. And I've never like felt like. Like, I, feel like, I said that I feel like my heart's growing every time like I look at him like I literally feel it it's so weird someone said oh like the Grinch I'm like you know when the Grinch is like it's like oh when they put the x-ray on his heart and it's like getting bigger and stuff that's literally how it feels to like to look at your child and like love them so much is this music distracting or is that just me it's like so cold already one thing is that over here you're gonna feel all the seasons like that's the difference where i lived the seasons were like on crack or something it would be like hot and one day and then it would rain like the next day or like fucking it would snow or some shit but over here it's literally like like the leaves are turning orange and red and like everywhere is filled with trees and life and greenery it's like what it's so beautiful it feels like you're you're in a painting i don't know how does it look and now z block <laughs> i'm scared <laughs> okay okay you know what, I should use a different brush. I keep using the same brush because I just feel like all the products in here is gonna like help it blend in smoother. But also I can't stop 
my god i love this time of year because of all the like holiday stuff like halloween thanksgiving you know okay <laughs> i look scary look <laughs> this is literally a halloween look bro i'm scared of this look i haven't I'm, i don't think i've ever did like a dark look like this okay but i'm looking for it now i'm gonna go in with the red again blend it in Yeah, I'm gonna use my finger. Oh my gosh. <gasps> She's dark. I tend to bite my lips a lot when I start to get like ansias, you know? And I feel that way whenever we drive because of the weather. So I'm just like, <sighs> like just eating my whole mouth away, you know? Okay, this part is done. Okay, now for the risky part. I'm going to use a wipey. And I'm getting, I'm getting shaky. I'm gonna use a wipey and kind of like remove some of this for the orange eyeliner part. <gasps> That's all I'm gonna do, I'm scared. I don't wanna ruin it. Uh. Okay. Come see a time. And my 300 year old angled brush. This is literally, I think this was my first angled brush since like middle school even. Well, this was my mom's. <laughs> she is not 300 years old, but. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna put it where I wiped off the eyeshadow color because when you do the next step, you have to have like a base to put the color in. And especially because it's, um, the concealer will be wet. It'll be easier to have more pigmentation. Okay. Oh. What helps me during this, even though it's crooked, um, is just don't think about it. Just, just fucking do it. You know what I mean? I feel like if you overthink your makeup, then you're really gonna mess it up. You see? So now, just fix it. Anyways, meanwhile, I look for a brush. I have no idea what I wanna be for Halloween this year. We already have a Halloween costume for my boy boy. And it's coming in soon. I'm so excited. I'm gonna use this one. This one's another 300 year old brush that I have. I believe it's from It Cosmetics. Wow, okay. This also was my mom's, so. <laughs> okay, okay. I do need to get new brushes, though. I'm probably gonna ask that for Christmas. I think if you have, like, a white concealer, that would be way more intense. Okay, 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 okay. I think it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna just stop right there because I don't wanna mess it up. Now I'm going to get this wipey again. Put it around my finger. I like to use my hands a lot when I do my makeup. And I'm just gonna carve out this one there. Ah! I almost messed it up. Now I'm going to carve out this orange eyeliner with black liquid eyeliner. <laughs> Old Reliable Elf liquid liner. I think it's only like six bucks. So <laughs> I'm gonna start with the top. I think I'm gonna make it just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit thicker. <gasps> I don't know why I feel like I should not. Something inside me said, don't do it, don't do it. But don't think about it. Just do it and go like this.
I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the bottom of the liner, starting on this side. the scary part so now time to do my base foundation here it is this is how it looks up close i'm gonna have some fallout underneath my eyes so i'm gonna pat it be very gentle because i don't want to age meanwhile i'm like cut it <laughs> have you guys seen the jeffrey dahmer netflix series i'm like scared of it for like Two years, I think. For all of COVID, I was watching, my favorite YouTuber was, um, oh my God. I forgot her name. <laughs> Bailey Sarian. Oh my gosh, she was my favorite. She was my favorite, but then like we were watching it as we were driving over here from Texas to Virginia. And that drive, there is like, you run into like a few cities. I feel like the only major city we drove through was like Dallas and Nashville. The rest was like small cities, small towns. Like it was creepy. So when I was watching that, and especially in the nighttime, oh my gosh, I was like, oh. I was like we need to change this. I also haven't put foundation like all over my face in a while too so this feels kind of strange but in a good way it's like oh i'm doing makeup again i think like being a mom away from family that's where i, I like differ from like most people for a while i felt like my days were going by like routinely like same thing was happening same you know you have like a little bit of time to do stuff for yourself every day though i do make it like a priority to have my makeup on at least like once a day at least my eyebrows at least some blush even like even this i feel like i don't even put this much concealer on a regular daily basis anymore so like this is a lot i'm like not putting my makeup on for any reason besides doing this video and having some time for myself i feel like that stuff is very important after having a baby and just in general too. You know, stay in tune with yourself, stay connected with yourself and your friends and family. I struggle like calling people. I don't know why. I would much rather like spend time with someone in person than like call them. Cause I feel like in person you can just be like, you wanna go to McDonald's? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh my God. Whose makeup looks like this? I feel like Zuko. I literally feel like Zuko right now. Oh my god, I literally feel like him. I'm from the Fire Nation, y'all. I'm so happy to do makeup right now. I don't know why it's like... The whole aesthetic of like just being in your room, doing your makeup for a while. It's like, oh my gosh. There's like so, so much nostalgia. Starts crying. <laughs> I love my makeup, I love it. So I forgot to mention that I was setting my face with Airspun setting powder. Translucent, I think I got it in. No, I got it in naturally neutral. Wow. She different, you know, she ain't basic. Just kidding. I'm on a new camera right now, so does it look kind of different? So I went in with my MAC Studio Fix Plus foundation powder. And I'm putting it everywhere where my foundation is adding warmth back into my face because I feel like the setting powder is still like white, you know what I mean? And I go in with my brush that's 500 years old. Um, that was like 
a super dry kiss. <laughs> this makeup, I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel. Once I said Zuko, Prince, Prince Zuko. That's just, that's all I'm seeing right now. I'm going to be using my MAC Mineralize Blush. Like, oh my god, stop. Stop. I'm gonna get a little bit of the smoky orange and put it underneath my eye line. I like to use this duo brush on adhesive with vitamins. Now I'm gonna put my mascara on. The Maybelline, Maybelline New York Lush Sensational. And just. Have you guys seen how Kris Jenner puts her mascara on? It's scary. She goes like this. <laughs> My ultra skinny eyeliner. It's a pin. And go in my inner corner just a little bit. Just to blend the lash. I'm going to be using my lip liner by NYX in the color Nutmeg. Lottery lip gloss. <laughs> I like to use the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray, but I need to get more lip. <laughs> oh my gosh, my hair is so curly. And I didn't even use a curler, I just blow dried it with a round brush and then I just pin curled it. Ew! Good thing I don't have bangs. <laughs> I was about to get bangs too. I had that that urge. I was getting bang fever. <gasps> That's moving because I just closed the blind. I feel like I should have used more subtle eyelashes instead of these dramatic ones. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm like. I'm about to change my lashes. I really don't like them. I don't like them for this look. I feel like up here is like so dramatic that I want it to show, you know what I mean? This is the final product. Are you guys ready to see how much my son has grown? <gasps> the final makeup look what do you guys think i had so much fun making this video shout out to glam x melissa for giving me the inspiration of this look i love 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 this makeup look especially because i'm in the fall and halloween season vibes so yes even though it's outside way outside of my comfort zone i feel like it put me back into my comfort zone doing makeup making videos so 10 out of 10 so thank you thank you mm. <laughs> if you guys made it this far into the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs>